And welcome back. Tom Hartman here with you. And uh, on the line with us is Mimi Kennedy, the actress, activist, writer, supporter of Gov Governor Don Siegelman, board chair, Progressive Democrats of America, star of the hit CV CBS TV series Mom, uh, pdamerica.org, of course, the website, and free-don.org. You can tweet her at Mimi Kennedy LA. And Mimi, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Tom. It's great to hear your voice and be here. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us. We're also on C-SPAN today, so we, we have a, an, an even larger than normal audience. So My so favorite, my second favorite network. I have to cool. <laughs> be That's... glad that I'm on uh, Mom. Yeah, yeah. I'm well, of course. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you, you got to like your own network. I mean, yeah. uh, but uh, anyhow, it's, it's so one out of them. Four American votes are at risk of having their votes stolen or flipped on Election Day. Uh, tell me about this. Well, this is the vote counting program. You know what I really want to say right up? You're always saying it too, Tom. This call about voter fraud, election reading, because there's so much voter fraud, is completely ridiculous and wrong and ignorant. If you think about it for two seconds, voter fraud, impersonating a voter at the polls and thereby throwing an entire election, I don't think so. So this whole voter intimidation of people of color at the polls is criminal, has to be stopped. Anytime you hear voter fraud, you, you should know that's what it's about, voter intimidation of certain kinds of voters. And election fraud is what I'm talking about, which is done by insiders with the capacity to like white collar crime that steals billions on the stock market or the bank instead of, you know, from a 7-Eleven holding them up. That kind of large, massive fraud is election fraud. Okay. A lot so, of us. So, vote so, so you've got to talk about election fraud. You've got a new movie or a documentary over at blackboxvoting.org titled yeah. Fraction Magic. And it's right. available on YouTube. You can see it for free. And yes. you guys discovered that the yeah. vote counting machines are counting, instead of counting my vote as one vote and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, Kenny's vote as a second vote and Ben's vote as a third vote, it's actually counting my vote as 100 votes or 1.00 and, and, and Ben has 1.00, and Kenny has 1.00. And so it could reduce my vote to 0.73 if it wanted to, or if it wanted 0.35. To. If it wanted to. And when we say machines, we're actually talking about tabulators, uh, oh. not necessarily the machines that you stand there and cast your vote on, which are trouble, as we know. Right. But we're right. talking about the central tabulator that the election officials use to count up all the votes, be they digital or up to scanned paper ballots, there is a possibility if you have five or six seconds access to that tabulator and you've prepared a little program on your USB beforehand that you can apply percentages that you want to certain races and those races will come out exactly as you have asked them to come out, which is why pre-election polling is constant these days. You know, there's a little bit more of it, I think we could say, since electronic voting came in and momentum. I remember some of this talk when I was younger, but not as much. It is a key component of needing to know what kind of percentages you might want to manipulate an election by. I'm just saying that this capacity exists in all the tabulating software from Diebold, ESNS, Sequoia, and Dominion. And that is uh, between 80 and 90% of our votes. Now, not everybody's using it. I mean, you can you can also use software to, to rob anything, to intrude, to hack, but you, we also use software for what we want. What right. we need is verification. Now, Verif a, I, I'm sorry, pardon my interrupting. No, you go. Okay, there, there's a fascinating backstory to this that you, mm -hmm. you told us about last night on our TV show that the guy who wrote the program, yeah. t tell, me, tell me who this guy was. The guy, if this is about 1999, uh, Black Box Voting will have the history uh, accurately. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. Jeffrey Dean was a guy who was in prison because he was a code writer. And he wrote code for an accounting firm he worked for, and he used his own code to steal billions from embezzle from the accounting firm. So he's in jail and he meets a man there named John Elder who was into drug 
running of some sort, his conviction. And they went, let's, we can start a voting machine company. This is needed. And so Jeffrey Dean wrote the code for global election management systems, GEMS. Those tabulators uh, went to Diebold and then migrated the same software to ESNS, which is started by Diebold's brother, the U.S. Rich Brothers, and migrated to Dominion and migrated to Sequoia. And I think it's in Hard Inter Civic. So he put, Jeffrey Dean, an accounting program in the counting of um, the votes. What right. does it, it doesn't belong there. A hundred cents on the dollar is for when you're doing money, you know, dollar 31 cents. Right. But 1.31 votes, that doesn't belong there. But it allows you to apply percentages with a great degree of precision. And in Benny Smith, the code writer's investigation and discovery with Bev of court documents that they got, legally, um, they saw fractionalized vote results, like 16,384.31. Benny, who knows accounting software, he's a code writer, he knows a lot, goes, what's a fraction doing there? And he went looking for, does this counting program have the ability to turn votes into fractions? Well, it did, and it does, and wow. it's in all our vote counting. So it, it could say that everybody in this particular voting district that votes largely, let's say, Democratic, um, their votes are actually counted as six tenths of a vote or seven tenths of a vote. You can weight the voters, Tom, and you can weight the races. So what you see in the Fraction Magic video is going in with your pre-prepared USB, you know, your thumb drive of percentages, and you know, in a, in like six minutes, changing all these races. And guess what? You leave certain precincts alone because they're going to be audited. Like in Fresno County, a PDA supporter, Judy Hess, found out that they're choosing the uh, audit precincts in August for November. Uh, so so, so like, they know in advance where to mess with and where not to. Yes. If you're going to do this, you know that. You, I mean, you would, wow. you would certainly choose your precincts now, beforehand. Now, you, now, 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 we're talking with Mimi Kennedy, the actress, activist, writer, uh, board chair of Progressive Democrats of America, and she's got a new documentary out, and it, it's over at blackboxvoting.org. It's called Fraction Magic. And um, Greg Pallast was on this program last week and pointed out that, uh, in his opinion, a large part of the red shift, which we've seen since about 1998 and 2000 in a big way, where the exit polls show that, for example, you know, Al Gore won uh, Florida, for example, but the, the vote, the actual count of the vote shows that he didn't that the reason for the discrepancy is that tens of thousands of those voters had been thrown off the voting rolls, and so they showed up and they were given provisional ballots, and they thought they voted, but their vote never got counted, and that that accounts for a lot of the redshift. Are you suggesting, in other words, you know, the, these states that, that seem like they're blue in the polling, but suddenly they come out red when the election happens, um, and, and Chris Kobach and, and 30 Republican states attorney general are aggressively, you know, they, they've got this list of 7 million people with common last names that they're throwing off the voting rolls, predominantly, you know, minorities. Mm -hmm. Are you suggesting that this is another reason for the red shift? Yes, I agree with Greg. That is obvious and what we can see. They purge voters, mostly of color. Greg's movie, The Best Democracy Money Can Buy, explains that. Uh, I am saying that if you're interested in doing election fraud, and we have, that's a large undertaking, not voter fraud, like, I've got a license of somebody else and I'm going to vote in this jurisdiction, ha ha. Voter fraud barely exists. Election fraud, big. if you're interested in doing it, it's like a war. You need a multi-pronged attack, and you need to pass the smell test so nobody thinks, so you don't get caught. And so you need to reduce the voters you don't want and say, hey, they didn't come out to vote. Hey, your voters didn't show up. Yeah. And that is purge lists and now voter intimidation. It's, it's horrible. That's what we can see. I am also suggesting that this program is something you can't see, and uh, sometimes it's used. And uh, ballot images, I want to put that word out there, is a solution, and you will find that on black box voting. Citizen activists are going to solve this, and we hope the DOJ will get involved eventually. But nobody wants to talk about election rigging. But it's election fraud, not voter fraud, and it can be stopped. Got it. Mimi Kennedy, you're brilliant. Thank you so much.
Thank this you. is the Tom Hartman Pro.